This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 10.8.6. Activity Feed now supports the new assignment types available in Assignments. When creating an assignment post, instructors can now specify the submission type, click the Submission Type menu, and select the appropriate submission type. To help reduce unconscious bias and assignment grading, you can set the new D2L, Tools, System, Features, Anonymous Marking, Configuration Variable to allow your instructors to configure assignment submissions to display anonymized learner names. A new User Information Privacy Permission, C name for anonymized activities, has been included and will display the user's real name alongside the anonymous indicator if required. When creating a new assignment, a new anonymous marking section is available. Selecting the checkbox for Hide Student Names During Assessment will create anonymous indicators for all assignment submissions. Assignments submitted no longer indicate individual users. Users with the C name for anonymized activities permission enabled will also be able to view both the anonymized identifier and given name for each submission. The Assignment Properties tab interface has been updated to simplify the creation workflow. Two new assignment types have been added, on paper submission and observed in person. The assignment creation user interface has been simplified to streamline creation. Now, assignment creation includes a new submission type menu. Click it and select from the available submission types, including the two new options, on paper submission and observed in person. These new assignment types allow for a larger variety of assignments to be provided to learners while still providing feedback and evaluation all in one place. Select the submission type to specify the completion type for the new assignment options. Click the Marked as Complete menu to indicate the assignment will be identified as completed for all learners on the due date, to have the learner indicate completion on their own, or to manually be marked as completed upon evaluation by the instructor. Navbar color and text color schemes can now be adjusted from navigation and themes to better align with your organization's branding. From edit theme, you can now alter the color of the links and text in the navbar. Click choose colors and choose the appropriate color for your brand or click more to enter a specific hex value. Then, if necessary, adjust the text color to ensure WCAG standards are met. A preview displays. When you are ready, click Save. Now, the navbar will reflect your selected color. Brightspace for Parents will support the new assignment types on paper submission and observed in person. The upcoming work and overdue widgets now display content activity with the appropriate dates set. The Send to Binder option in content will no longer be available as of November 1, 2018. The download schedule for clients extracting full daily datasets is changing to a daily differential and weekly full datasets. There is a new Brightspace dataset providing information about discussion forums. There is a new Brightspace dataset providing information about discussion topics. A new specific error message now appears to users who click a quick link to course activity that is outside of availability dates. This feature applies to assignments, content modules and topics, checklists, and discussion topics. This feature implements PyItem D784. Your instructors can now create new material in lessons by dragging and dropping existing local files onto the table of contents. You can now set relative due dates in Manager Dashboard and Learning Groups. Relative due dates allow individual users in a learning group to have separate due dates for their assigned courses. Courses that have already been assigned to learners in Manager Dashboard and Learning Groups now display as already assigned. A new View Details link is available and opens a dialog box that provides details about the original assignment. Learner's quiz responses are now automatically saved. The Save All Responses and Go To Submit Quiz buttons have been removed. This feature implements PI items D246 and D247. 
When students take a quiz, their responses will save automatically once an answer is selected, or every 10 to 15 seconds for text questions. HTML-enabled questions will save once a user clicks outside of the response input area. Autosaves will send the save timestamp to the quizzing log. Instructors can no longer attach rubrics to a quiz or grade rubrics already attached to a quiz. Grading with rubrics and assignments now offer new functions and workflows. New features include rubrics automatically save and draft while being updated, the ability to assess rubrics individually or all at once in the same window, and separate total and overall score areas. These new features are controlled by the new D2L, Tools, Updated Grading Experience, Configuration Variable. Note, this timed variable is defaulted to off and allows for opt-in for six months. D2L is releasing a new version of Brightspace Insights by the end of December 2018. To make these exciting improvements, we are discontinuing the Insights console and several Insights portal reports by the end of March 2019. For more information, review the release notes. For a video on anonymizing assignments, follow the link in the video.